All right, so uh, yeah, type conversion. Type conversion is the process of changing the data type of a value to another data type. For example, we can convert strings to numbers, numbers to booleans, booleans to strings, numbers to strings, booleans to numbers. I think you get the idea. Why might we want to do this? Well, when we accept user input, the data type of that input is a string. If we need to use it for any sort of math, we need to convert it to a number. Here's an example. Let's say we have variable age. I will create a window prompt, window dot prompt. We will ask a user, how old are you? I'm going to add one to our age, age plus equals one, then console dot log age. How old are you? Let's say I'm 25, press OK. Let's inspect our page, go to console. It shows that age is 251. When we accept user input, it's a string data type, a series of characters. By adding one, we appended one to the end of our string. We're not increasing our age by one. We're doing string concatenation. We are going to convert our user input into a number. And this is how. So after accepting our user input, and before making any changes to it, let's reassign age equal to, and this is a function, the number function. It will convert another data type, such as a string or Boolean, into a number. Then we'll place our age variable within that function. So now this should work. How old are you? Let's say I'm 25, press OK. 26. So that's the reason you may want to type convert, because different data types behave differently. Along with my age variable, I'm going to display the type of age. What's the data type? How old are you? 25, press OK. 26, and it shows that the data type of age is number. If we removed this type conversion and then run this again, it shows that our age is 251 and it's a string, which is not exactly what we would like. That's a reason why type conversion is important. Let me give you another example. Let's create three variables. Let x, let y, and let z. I'll show you what happens when we convert different values into different data types. Let's say x is the word pizza. Same thing with y and z. I will typecast x as a number. Then we need to place x within the number function. I kind of want to see what happens when we try and convert pizza into a number. It's probably not going to go well. Let's convert y into a string. Then z will be a boolean. Let's console.log x as well as the type of x. Let's do the same thing with y and z. All right, what's going to happen? If you attempt to convert alphabetical characters into a number, that variable will be NAN, which means not a number. The data type is still number, though, as you can see. The word pizza is already a string, so converting it into a string really doesn't do anything. That's why for this line, the value is still pizza, and the data type is still a string. If you convert a string into a boolean, Booleans, again, are either true or false. Converting the word pizza into a Boolean returns true, and the data type is Boolean. So basically, as long as there's some value here, and you convert it into a Boolean, it will always be true. Let's replace pizza with zero. What will happen? We can convert zero into a number. It doesn't contain any alphabetical characters. X contains zero. It's a number. Y is 0, but it's treated as a string. Z contains true, and it's a boolean. What about empty strings? Just a set of quotes. Typecasting an empty string as a number is still 0. We have an empty string for Y. Then with our boolean, it's false. Why might you want to typecast a string as a boolean? That's one way in which you can check to see if user input is empty. Like, did somebody type something in? If a user skipped user input, it's most likely going to be an empty string. Then you can check to see, like, if this is false, then the user didn't type in anything, and you can let them know. What about a variable that's declared but not assigned a value? 
converting an undefined variable to a number results in not a number. Our string is undefined, and our Boolean variable returns false. So that's the basics of type conversion. It's the process of changing the data type of a value to another. It's pretty important when you accept user input, because when you accept user input, it's a string data type. At times, you may want to convert it to a number, if you need to include that number with any sort of arithmetic expressions, or a Boolean if you're checking to see if that user input was completed. We'll have more practice with this in the future. And well, that is type conversion in JavaScript.